Can we get things started off in the Beach District between the Bayside Marlins and the Ocean Lakes Dolphins? The last two years, this game decided by a touchdown or less. Two perennial contenders hoping to win a district crown and go far in the playoffs. We go to Haygood Road and Ocean Lakes coming in, Matt, undefeated on the year 3-0. Bayside with that one loss just a couple weeks ago to Salem. That's right. A lot riding on this game here as Ocean Lakes wants to prove they are the class of the district and they're going to get started here on offense. Corwin Turtle Cutler, the University of Virginia commit, going deep up top. Does he have a man open? Yes, he does. It is complete. Big completion right there for the Ocean Lakes offense right out of the gate. Yeah, Austin with the big reception here. Now on the ground is going to be the uh, Dolphins. It's Simmons on the carry, and he'll punch it across the goal line for the score and the Dolphins strike first. Right after that big reception by Mike Austin. It's Prentice Simmons, eight yards. Extra point by Tyler Bowie is good. Ocean Lakes on top, 7-0. They got the ball back and going to work right again. The sophomore, Jason Lewis, making a guy miss. Reversing his field, going the other way. Gets a block, and uh-oh, he could be going for a big gainer. Another block right there by Andre Dessenberg. He gets it into the red zone for Ocean Lakes. What a great display of athleticism. A bubble screen on the right didn't have anything, so he reversed his field, finds some room, and it sets up this long touchdown run here as he just pulls the defenders across the goal line. Mike Dunstan going in 11 yards in Ocean Lakes trying to establish themselves on the road in a hurry. 13 to nothing already in favor of the Dolphins and a bad snap here. Deion Stitt having to make something happen, and he is brought down right away by Jaquay Allen. Yeah, Jaquay Allen making the special teams play on the special teams mistake, but Ocean Lakes looks to capitalize here as the quarterback throws it up into the end zone, has a man. Hey, does he get his feet in? He does. Another touchdown there for uh, Alston. Yeah, that connection is working. 18 yards. Cutler to Alston. Two-point conversion, no good. Dolphins on top, 19 to nothing to start the second quarter in Bayside. And a big, at, big hole at home for the second time in three weeks. But Deion Stitt finding his junior standout. Quinn Blanding, nice tippy-toe catch along the sidelines for a big gainer. Will that be uh, a sign of life here for Bayside? Stitt now under pressure, is trying to find some room to work. A flag thrown, but that Dolphins D is able to corral the quarterback and get the sack. That defensive line led by field. Dimitri McGill. You see him number 56, the defensive tackle, and Derek Noddy, the junior D tackle teammate, just collapsing the pocket. And Quinn Blanding with a nice tackle there on Brandon Simmons. But Ocean Lakes going to the power running game after establishing the air game, and it's working right now as they're marching again on that Bayside defense. Yeah, back to back carries there for Simmons. Now a carry for Dunson, and he's going to cross the goal line in that power running game, as you mentioned, Matt, able to move the ball down the field for the Dolphins and put six more on the board. Maybe not surprising Ocean Lakes in the lead, but by 25 points before halftime, very much surprising. And now going to the receiver pass, Stitt to Blanding. Blanding's got a man, and Jamez Brickhouse can't haul it in. And just when Bayside thought they had something, they cannot get it. Cutler's going to drop back. He's going to look right, come back, throw it down the field. He has a man reception going out of bounds, knocked out the official. But he was able to see that he brought it in and a big gain down the field for Ocean Lakes. Everything is working right now offensively for Ocean Lakes. And right there, it's Cutler to Dessenberg. Six-yard touchdown, two-point conversion attempt, no good. And Bayside will take a knee going into the half, trailing Ocean Lakes 31-0. Dolphins making a statement on the road. See if it will continue here in the second half. Cutler to his receiver in Dessenberg, who makes a nice move. And he will cross the goal line, and the scoring continues for Ocean Lakes. 21 yards, Dessenberg's second touchdown of the evening. Ocean Lakes now has the running clock on 38 to nothing. Darnell Moore and the Bayside Marlins cannot believe what is happening to them for the second time in three weeks. And it's a program that won our Eastern Region crown in 2010. Ocean Lakes again pouring it on. It's now Churchy Harold, cousin of Eli Harold, finding Gary Felton for a touchdown. 45 to nothing, Dolphins. Bayside trying to go back to their bag of tricks here with the reverse throw downfield, and it will be intercepted by Ocean Lakes. That's poor with the interception there for the Dolphins. Dolphins just pouring it on right now, and it ends up being a shutout. The first time Bayside's been shut out since 2006, the third shutout by the Ocean Lakes defense in four weeks. They win it 45 0. Corwin Cutler just one incomplete pass all game long, 222 yards, three touchdowns. Quinn Blanding, a great effort in defeat, 89 yards receiving, and 14 tackles defensively. Other Beach District action. It was Cox even against record of two and two as Mike Damasi runs for 100 yards and a touchdown they get by Kempsville. And in overtime, first Colonial notches its first one of the year. A Tucker Hogg field goal wins it in overtime, 10 to seven over Green Run. Another score is Kellum uh, slips by tall with 21 to 20 with two rushing touchdowns for Pat Cagle. Lansdowne all over PA, 40 to 18, a big game from Swenson, 290 total yards and three TDs.